Hello everybody, it's Benza1274 here, and we are on my balance. I wanted to, um, do a deck, and, uh, deck and gear setup video for Grandmaster Balance, for anybody who needed help. This is my rank, if you guys needed any, like, reassurance to me knowing what I'm doing. Uh, I took a break from balance, that's why I'm not a higher rank or a lower rank, because I took a really decently long break, about, like, three months. Of just not playing, period. Uh, other than, you know, for the level 100 on my storm. Um, but yeah, these are my stats. I do not have Warlord hat yet, which is su surprising to my friends how I have Overboard. <laughs> but yeah, for level 45 and up, I recommend, if you're just leveling up, I recommend using one of, uh, a Proud Jaguar mask, which is what I used. Up until I found this. Uh, if you're one like, if you want to be like resist, you can use something like this, like a crown hat or the 45 hat, which gives like six resist. Or you can use the 45 hat that I'm using, the mantle of order, gives six power pips, 240 health, and 10 damage, which is actually really useful. And then I'm using this. But if you do not have the warlord robe, I recommend farming for the Malastair's tunic because that is probably the yeah, that is the best 50 robe that you can get. Because, look at my stats with this. This is what I had before I had Roller Grove. 49 damage, 44 resist, 27. Or, 44 balance resist, and 27 all. And then look at what happened when I got this. It increased my damage and my resist. To an extreme amount. And then I have the Warlord boots. If you do not have that, I recommend using either Jaguar boots or... You know, something like that. Something with block. It's either your choice on which one to use. I had commander boots. I didn't use that until I had warlord boots. And then I used I used this whenever I was questing. But that's also the best damage boots you can get for 45 balance. Seven or right, the foot gear of craftsmanship. Seven damage, five power pips, 120 health, which is really actually really good. It almost gives as much damage as the Warlord Boots, so it's not like you're losing anything when you get the Warlord Boots over these. Um, for Wands, I recommend getting either the Order of High Glory Banner, which gives you two Mana Burns, which is really useful. For Balance VP, that is. This is for Balance. And um, if not, just getting the Tiki Torch, because the, the 45 uh, block and 45 crit Tiki Torch with one Pierce. Uh, that's also a really good wand. I don't have it, and I still want to use it because I prefer this wand because I like mana burn. But if you do not have either one of them, I recommend using a sky iron. Because if I use a sky iron, I stopped using it because I had 61 damage. I stopped using it because I preferred mana burn. I was like, what's the point of having all that damage if I can't do anything with it? For ring and ethaim, I recommend using these. The Ravens, I'm not going to even try to say that, Talon, Ravens Talon, and the Ravens Justice. I recommend these specifically because, I mean, unless you have, like, things like this. If, I mean, if you can't find these, these are the second best things you want. Not level 35, but, like, level 45, or uh, any kind of pip. Any good pip thing, I'm saying, basically. Any good power pip chance given ring and fame is the thing that you should want but i recommend just getting your damage one the damage ones every school has one uh i like balance the most though because balance is my favorite school uh any pet with resist or preferably resist but you can do uh just a heal i mean you can really do this with anything i mean because you're not gonna even with 15 14 resist which is what i started off with I still didn't really need it. I used Heart Steel when I was a lower level, though. For amulets, I recommend using the Order of Misfortune, unless you have a Master Amulet. Like if you if you use Life Master, go ahead and use that. That's part of your strategy. But I use this over anything, unless I'm in two v two. But this, yeah, this is my favorite amulet. Specific, blah, blah, sorry, specifically because it gives a 200 health bonus, a Mana Burn card, and a extra reshuffle. And then there's the Jewel of the Faint. Which is, you know, usually just for judgment. Which I actually recommend if you're going to use, if you're planning on judgment being your main killer, I recommend using this. 
for Dire Search Pets for decks, I recommend using the Dragonfire deck or the Treasure deck. Either way, they're both really good. Just the Treasure deck lets you have 5 instead of uh, 4. That's why I have that for my 2v2 deck. Um, I have another Dragonfire deck, okay. This is, the, I'll be like, I'll remake the 1v1 deck for you guys. Basically, this is what uh, I trained. I trained Cloak, Strong, Life Dispel, Myth Dispel, Conviction, uh, Infection, and I'm training Death to Faint at the moment, because when I get, um, because I'm probably going to level up later on. Um, where do we go, where do we go? Oh, is that it? Oh, and Tower Shield, Tower Shield, that's it. So these three, uh, Infection, and then up to Faint if you can. Life Dispel, Myth Dispel, Nothing in Storm, Tower Shield, and Stun Block. I forgot to say that, Stun Block, okay. And then Nothing in Fire. You can get Fire Elf if you want to get rid of Tower Shield, but I don't really, I don't, my strategy doesn't require it. Um, so basically, if you're doing 1v1, you're gonna start off with your basic, you know, Judgment. How many, how many you want? I usually use one or two. Uh, I pack Max Elementals, Max Weaknesses, three Mantles, I don't pack anything from here. I don't pack any hexes or blade storms because I find them a waste of space. I usually pack like one balance to spell in case I am fighting a balance because you know. And then max minions because minions is my favorite card. Max helping hands because heals. Max sandstorm in case you fight anybody that does use minions. Max reshuffles even though you have even though I have this I need I like to be able to discard all of these and not have to worry about it by using this. And then. I usually use a Hydra and a Spectral Blast. I actually, I pack like two Hydra. No, I, I pack, uh, yeah, two Spectral Blasts and a Hydra. The reason is because people always assume that you're going to use just normal balance spells, but I trick them into thinking that I won't use any of these, and I use sneak out a Hydra every once in a while. It's really surprising, and it's really funny. And, uh, okay, to, the ice, to your ice spells, I usually do three... Volcanic Shield, in case I fight a Storm or a Fire. I do a Stun Block, in case of fighting um, a Myth. I do Max Towers, obviously. And then Life, I usually do like three three to four Pixies. I do one Entangle, because pets smack those off so quickly anyway. Then I do a Myth to Spell, in case I'm second to a Myth. Because, you know, that really sucks. I usually like, throw a Cloak on there or something. And then here, you do... Max Strongs, I usually do like two, two to three Cloaks, and then I'll pack Max Infections, and then with the extra three spaces, I mean, just Spirit. I mean, there you go guys, there's your 1v1 deck. For TCUIs, there's nothing I can really recommend, because I don't, I just kind of use a mass of stuff, you know, I sometimes I'll put Samurais in there, I usually have about like three availings, you know, I got some Sandstorms, case of Minions. I got faints, because, you know, I gotta finish with that judge, I got that, I got four of these always, got that, for I can do the combo, um, four monstrous, and then, that's really about it, like, that's my entire side deck, right there, <laughs> get these out so I don't lose them forever, but yeah, guys, that's the 1v1 deck, and that's the strategy, I play conservatively, oh, get out of here, Roman, I play conservatively, so you find you might see that my deck looks a lot different, or not a lot different, I wouldn't say a lot. It looks a little bit different from other balances. There's just little tweaks I put in there, as I play conservatively instead of offensively like most balance. But, um, that's it, you guys. 75-27, Warlord. First age. I made this guy in the second age, so I didn't have any first, first age rank. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, as always, have a good one.